A church service was disrupted with almost violent altercations and whatnot at Christ Embassy in Harare. And the reason being, hey, 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 congregants found out that some church people over there, they were busy mingling in bank account business and $25,000. If you thought I was about to say rent, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> if you thought I was about to say rents, please <laughs> just say got you in the comment section. Pretty much got you there. $25,000. 25000 bands. So yesterday, um, JCTV actually sent me this story. And I saw the story, but because I was not understanding, I didn't even get, to get, get time to actually call him back about it because it had already been late by the time I actually got to really look through the video. But then AMT7 luckily had posted the video as well. It reminded me and I looked back at the story. Now he had translation as well. So thank you very much, Leadership. Do check him out over there. Sexuality Show. The Daily Christian Commentary videos if it's the first time over here. Do be sure to check out them other videos that will be done in the pink comments. And we keep it moving. Muwati. Muwati. Moving. Now, speaking of moving. These pastors thought they could move church funds into their own shenanigans of thingy and not be found out. It didn't pan out very, very well. I'm going to play this video. I'll try and skip over. There are certain parts where there's too much uh, for laugh for them. <laughs> and so we're not trying to upset the YouTube algorithm. So yeah, this is what happened over there. Now that is a lot and the word lot uh, comes out uh, also reminded of the guy who actually almost <laughs> he chose the other side the opposite side to Abraham and he found himself a lot on the other side now if you don't understand what I meant by that if you don't understand the pun you've not been Christian that long <laughs> lot found a lot you know but this kind of reminded me of a subject particularly about church leadership and accountability and responsibility now before we go any further would i like to make a request you know when you do see an advert playing in the middle of the video please do allow the video play it does help out in the ad revenue amount it if you play if the ad completely plays it they pay you more, a little bit more. They pay you a little bit more. And it's January, trust me, the ads are terrible because everybody has blown their budget on ads in December. So playing the ads a little bit more would be a lot beneficial. Thank you very, very much. Anyways, now, and also when you see the ads on the next video, do let it play. Now, on this one, 
I wanted to point out to the subject of church leadership. The reason being, you see, if church leadership never addresses these things, or church leadership does not show responsibility towards these things, or accountability at that, uh, the junior pastors are just going to do the same thing. How does 25,000 just go poof? And everybody's supposed to, to behave. They're supposed to come over there and not only think, don't start a ruckus, get them arrested, okay? The police deal with that, kick them out. If they're not going to be responsible, if they're not going to be answerable to thinking, yeah, here it turned out a little bit, whew, it was a lot, you know, a fruit of the spirit was, <laughs> a fruit of the spirit had kind of been on hold for a bit. Now, if you go back to the subject of church leadership here, there's been a lot of reports about pastors from Christ Embassy having this high sense of the love of money. This has been the subject that has been exposed countless of times. It has been the subject that has been everywhere. We spoke about one particular other particular brotherhood in Nigeria who had sold over. He had given his uh, house over to the church. And the church, I don't know if the story actually ended up with the family getting their house back because of this exuberant ideas of giving funny promises that they know very well might not come to pass. They just like putting over the top a emphasis on materialism towards the church. And they even give awards, to make it even worse, the church gives awards for how much more people give. There was a gentleman that started a supposed investment scheme. People were giving their money into the scheme. Yeah, they take their money, put it into the man ran away with the money. I don't know how far that particular story. People were marching, I think last of last year, uh, to try and get the church leadership uh, to acknowledge the subject. But guess why the church leadership in Christ Embassy will not take uh, uh, will not take that subject to to note because they give awards for how much people give, and because they are giving awards, they will not then take the money and then want to correct that person. How much do that person? How do you think? How much do you think that person? Because the particular brotherhood who had been called out for starting an investment scheme in the church and taking the money in that particular branch had been exposed to have been receiving awards from Christ Embassy. Christ Embassy, this thing, to be honest with you, it is extremely disgusting. When I see that thing of them doing awards and what, 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 I'm just like, this church is so carnal. I don't know who buys into this idea. If you are doing good financially within a church and you are giving, left hand not be not let known what is happening to the right hand. What happened to that? But there, because you are there busy announcing yourself by awards and all this kind of stuff, I, I, where do you even keep it? It's an ego award. It, <laughs> it's an ego award. It has no meaning. But guess what it has done? It has caused the smaller guys now, the younger junior pastors to say, hey, we want to eat the pie. But remember, the pie is your, is your church members. You are insensitive to how much hard work people have to put into earning that money to come and bring it to church to a point where they would take 25,000 and even take 25 rand. Take 25 rand, go back or drink there. <laughs> no, they had to go all out and break the bank. What did you buy with it? What do you have to show for it? What was it done? What did you do with the money? Put yourself a nice suit. How far? It is shameful. But where does it start? Church leadership. Church leadership. Because church leadership doesn't hold themselves accountable. These ones now, they are coming up, learning from them. Now, the verse that I spoke about. The Bible says, rebuke them sharply so that others may fear. When you rebuke the leadership, the others who are coming up, learn from it. But when you don't, What's happening? What's happening right now at Christ Embassy? This is what happens. Why? Because the leadership, the bigger guys have been collecting awards. Christ Embassy has been giving people awards for supposedly giving big monies. So then they are thinking, hey, man, the big guys are eating money over there. And as we are here chilling in poverty, <laughs> they say, no, we can't chill in poverty. We must enrich ourselves. So they start doing this. This comes from that. It comes from... People not wanting to rebuke leaders. 
You don't rebuke a leader when he's wrong. Don't worry, he will eat your man. <laughs> this is what happens. They eat people. Who's who's wrong now? Who's wrong now? And Kiri, when we when people were saying, remember when people were saying the stories when the stories came out. Solomon did an interview with one particular lady that came from there. She was speaking about how they used to trick up to raise money. People say, no, you people are just obsessed. How far with obsession? 25,000, gone. Not rands, dollars. Why? Because these smaller baby charlatans, they are learning from the bigger charlatans. They, they think, hey, work for who? Go pretend to be a pastor, collect money. They get there, you hand the money over, boom, they, are take, they take it. Now this church branch said, we are not having that. You are, <laughs> we will have our day to day. It starts from top there. If the top does not address it, the smaller baby charlatans, this is why the verse says, rebuke them sharply so that others will learn. So because the adults have not learned, the bigger ones have not learned, the smaller ones will just follow suit. It's a church reality check. We've got to put some of this check on some people's reality. This thing of you dismissing when we call out people for doing things, this is where it leads. 